So today guys, I'll guide you through earning a guaranteed legendary item. And all this does not matter what world tier you are on either. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so playing for close to 20 hours, I still haven't had any legendary items drop. But there comes a stage for a battle you are guaranteed a legendary drop. A one time drop as far as I'm aware. No matter the world tier you are on either. I did this on a world tier 7, my pal did it on a world tier 6 and I had someone else doing a world tier 10. Each one of us got a legendary item. So you get this legendary from a boss called Chrysaloid, I believe that's pronounced. Who I will state isn't the hardest boss at all, but at the same time, I've been doing what I've showcased via the guides on my channel to maximise gear to make bosses like this a lot easier. If you need that kind of help, my video guide you'll find links down below. Okay, so guys, you will eventually get to a place called Forest Enclave, which is the seventh chapter in Story Point. So for some, it might take a while to get here, but once you do, you have no choice but to fight this boss called Chrysalord, who is quite a big fella. So this boss who I will quickly guide you through isn't too hard when it comes to understanding his mechanics. And like I said, it doesn't matter what world tier you're on, so if you do struggle, drop it down in world tier and you're guaranteed that legendary either way. Like I said though, if I were you, I'd try and maximise this because it will be a high drop. And if you want to maximise your gear, you need to make sure it's at the same level of the enemies, like I said, check out that video I've linked down below. So within this boss, I'd say a sniper and an AR would work best as there's a lot of range damage needed here to get the boss down. And although the footage you are seeing now was my first run, I wasn't sure on the mechanics at the time and I was using an SMG. But since watching it back, it's quite clear what to use and what the boss does. But I will state, the bus has two phases, and with the entire first phase you can basically cheese and hide within a rock and shoot out of the rock, which is on the right hand side of the arena. The rock blocks all of his attacks besides one, the one where he slams his hand. And when he's about to slam that hand, simply move out of the way, then go back into the rock and lay down that damage on the bus. There is an ammo crate by the way just to your right when facing the bus too, so you should be alright there. The second phase I'd say is a little harder because there's no cheese spots, but if you take your time with it, you shouldn't have a problem. All you really have to do is pay attention to the markings on the floor in which his moves will land, laying down that damage in between each of his moves and then wait for him to call for that back up. Here he spawns in three of those annoying butterfly like creatures who spit poison at you. Take these three out and repeat the process of just laying down that damage avoiding the floor markers where he drops his abilities and you shouldn't really have a problem with it and eventually guys you'll get this done and you do get a ton of loot from this dude for me the legendary didn't actually drop on the floor and I noticed it a few minutes later it got added into my inventory I got the torment and agony but the powers of man who did this also were notified that they had drops which was cool but like I said if you don't get it to pop up check your inventory but yeah guys do this for a guaranteed legendary gear piece and I hope you get something great Again, world tier doesn't really matter, and if you're having problems with him, if you find him a little difficult, you can always drop that world tier down, but it will affect the level in which your legendary drops at, so just keep that in mind. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.